Hey, what's going on everyone? Scott and Gage here. Uh, we're in uh, Far Harbor at Dalton's Farm. And I thought, you know, what what farm wouldn't be complete without a little farmer's market? You know what I mean? So I kind of came up with this little deal here. Uh, I really like it. I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, I set down some of the uh, pillared shack floors then I put some scaffolding down along one side then I sunk in some junk fences along this side to cover that up then I used some of just of the railings and I was able to pillar glitch those in all along the edge of the bottom around this side here and you see here I got some uh, vending machines down here at one end this is my uh, must be merchant for uh, my bar here uh, I, I've got another bar that I've made into a regular bar here but I needed a uh, a counter for this so I think I might cover up the bar part of this with a sign I think that'll work out a little bit better make it look make it look a little bit better So I just set down a, a level two bar. I got him a cash register and a uh, little counter. Then I've set up, a, you know, pillar glitch these uh, vault tech crates up there. I think they work for just about anything, you know, uh, whether a weapon storage or food or whatever, you know, I'd, I'd figure that these crates can be used all over. And then, you know, farmer's market, I know, uh, I live in Kansas City, and at our farmer's market, there's all kinds of stuff, not just the produce. So there's, you know, there would be fish and, and different things like that all around. And then I set up these bins to uh, collect a lot of the produce. Now to build these... I just sat down a few of the small let's get it off of there so it doesn't snap to do that but I just sat down a few of the barn floors then back over to the wood tab to the miscellaneous and you see there it snaps the railings snap in between them and there you've got some bins now a little trick that I that I learned was that before you set these bins down or before you start filling them up grab a couple of these uh, the coffee tables you can see there it does fit in there you gotta get it just right but you can put a couple of them down in there then you can go back and add that so now you've got a little platform in there so you don't have to fill it up quite so high because trust me to fill these bins up it does take a little while so then around the edge there I was able to put some of the uh, the wire fencing around and then uh, the roof I just placed a wall I just used a barn wall off of the edge of one of the floors and then I built the roof and then got rid of that wall and then added the pillars in to give it kind of an open pavilion feel to it then I've added a marquee you know Dalton's farmer market open every day 8 to 8 then I've added some lights and uh, you know I really like this setup I think it's pretty cool looking you know added a little radio give them some tunes around here got a few mutt fruits that 
have fallen out when I was dropping them in there. Now when you drop anything, you know that if you've got six or more, it will only drop one mutt fruit or gun or ammo or anything else. It'll only drop one, but when you pick it up and when you highlight it, it'll say mutt fruit six. So if you want to do anything like this in your settlement, make sure you drop everything one at a time. And you see, I got some gourds. You can see the tables underneath there. Uh, in this one, I got a kind of a mix of carrots and potatoes and corn. Then uh, the melons are the easiest one to fill up because they're so big. And then the mutt fruit, I've been collecting those for a while. That's, that's about 200 mutt fruit right there. And I dropped them all individually. <laughs> so it's been taking me a little while. And you see here it's starting to get dark so you can kind of see it at night. But I thought it was pretty cool to have, you know, another little structure in your settlement, you know. Another good way to, to uh, create income in your settlement to have another bar. And kind of cover it up, you know, because the bar is where you buy not just the drinks, but, uh, you know, the food and things like that. And of course, you know, you got fish for sale and, you know, farmers make hay, so you got to have hay around. And that's our little farmer's market. I like that truck. I didn't want to get rid of it here at Dalton's farm. But I hope you all enjoyed that video. If you did, please leave a like button or hit that like button that's much appreciated and don't forget to subscribe to us we got a lot more videos coming out uh, I'm trying to limit my big builds uh, my settlement tours until mods come out hopefully those come out here pretty soon so until then I you know I'm coming up with little things like this So if you guys got any questions about anything, comments, please leave a comment. I'm always happy to read feedback, answer questions, anything like that. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.